Okay, we're going to show you some pinkies that we got in. These guys came in. This is day three. They're on Esbalac with a drop of heavy cream. Feeding them with a mini nipple and a 1cc syringe. It's pretty amazing that these little guys are alive because they went for three days without food or water or electrolytes or heat. It was very, very amazing that these guys are still with us. But they are eating. They're doing well. You notice I make them lap. I don't let them put that whole nipple in their mouth. Because if you put that whole nipple in there, they're gonna, he's going to aspirate. As it is, they aspirate doing it this way. So he's not sucking on this. I'm going to try to show you in the camera. I'm just kind of dripping it there really slowly. I'm letting him just kind of keep lapping. And you'll see, I'm going to show you quick, the size of his tummy now and what his tummy is going to look like in a couple minutes. He's doing very well. He's a squirmy little guy. He's a little clammy feeling, which pinkies usually are clammy feeling. And he seems to be drinking about a half cc. And we're going to be weighing him for you also. Just feed him real slow. You usually have to keep filling your syringe even though he doesn't drink at all because it cools off very quickly when you're using such a small amount. This formula is lukewarm right now. He's a little piggy though. She's, he'll drink it cold even he don't care. And I actually find that pinkies are pretty easy to do. This guy is, um, they're both males that we have here. Um, they were found on Saturday morning. It is Wednesday now. And they had no food or water till Monday night when the girl finally called me and brought them out to me. They had no fluids, no nothing, no heat. It's just amazing they're alive. So I'm sure they lost a few, little bit of weight. And we'll be weighing them too. You can see his little belly already is getting full. And that is a full round belly. And I won't feed him anymore because I don't want to bloat him. Because if you bloat them, you can kiss them goodbye. And that's probably the biggest issue with these guys. You notice I'm just kind of patting them a little bit real lightly with this. It's warm water. He's got a little bit of droppings on him. Sleeping in his little nest. They are peeing and pooping very well. Everything's perfect with these guys, really. It's just amazing. The bad thing with pinkies is they tend to do really well for a few days and then they crash, which is the bad part because you think you've got them out of the weeds and then all of a sudden they go downhill and they tend to blow. And if they blow, they're very hard to bring back. So you, but other than that, they're pretty easy. And I'm kind of confident that these guys are going to be okay. They did have some bruising. You can see a little bit of bruising on his head. But he doesn't seem to be going downhill on me at all, and he should be if he was, had some serious injuries there. A little bit of bruising there, but you can see the milk even in his belly. And he's nice and full right now. I just kind of just dab him all over, just like Mom would as she was licking him clean.